This video will describe symptoms that can happen during valley fever cases in humans, dogs, cats, and many other animals. It will conclude with a section specific to animals. Every case of valley fever can be different. Some patients experience many symptoms, some might have all the symptoms in this video, and some might notice no symptoms at all, even if the person is not aware of a growing lung nodule, for example. In the early stages of valley fever, the most common are flu-like symptoms, fever, trouble breathing, coughing, chest pain or pressure, night sweats, headaches, loss of appetite, weight loss, and rashes. As you can see, the list of possible symptoms can be quite extensive. Not all of these symptoms will necessarily occur in every valley fever infection. This is true for both humans and animals. Valley fever usually starts in the lungs and can spread. This is called dissemination, and the disease can disseminate to virtually any part of the body, including the ones on the screen now. Valley fever is often misdiagnosed as cancer, tuberculosis, or bacterial pneumonia. The fact that the symptoms of valley fever vary so greatly is a part of the reason misdiagnosis is so common. In addition, the lack of training and lack of accurate information available to doctors is a contributing factor in the frequent misdiagnoses of this devastating illness. The disease can cause hydrocephalus, harmful pressure from spinal fluid on the brain, varicose ulcers, wart-like outgrowths on the surface of organs and skin, arthralgias, joint pains, myalgias, muscle pains, automycosis, fungal infection of the external ear canal, hypercalcemia, extra calcium in the blood that can be fatal, and other terrible conditions. The simplest, fastest description of valley fever is that the disease can create lesions or inflammation in nearly any part of the body. The fact that one can consider the disease in such simple terms should never be taken to mean anyone should ignore its deadly, painful, or debilitating consequences. Depending on where valley fever causes inflammation within the body, a patient may experience a variety of other painful or life-threatening conditions. Meningitis, the swelling of the brain's lining, is universally regarded as the most deadly and dangerous form of valley fever. It occurs frequently in patients who have the disease spread from their lungs. The symptoms mentioned previously also apply to valley fever in dogs, cats, and other animals. Since animals can't express that they have these problems as clearly as humans can, pet owners should watch their animals for any of the symptoms. The most common signs of veterinary valley fever are respiratory distress, coughing, fever, malaise, loss of appetite, lameness, and personality changes. These could be particularly significant if the animal was exposed to soil in an endemic area. Valley fever disseminates very often in infected dogs. Many more cats are being diagnosed now than in the past. All mammals are subject to contracting valley fever. However, to date, there have not been any reported cases of valley fever in birds. If your pet shows some of these symptoms and lives in or has visited an endemic area, we recommend you contact your veterinarian and suggest the possibility of a casiodomycosis infection. This could save your pet's life. Please stay tuned for more entries in our continuing educational video series.